Distinguished guests, the officers, non-commissioned officers, and soldiers of the 15th Engineer Battalion would like to welcome you to the change of command ceremony between Lieutenant Colonel David E. Hurley and Lieutenant Colonel Craig S. Baumgartner. During today's ceremony, Lieutenant Colonel Hurley, who has commanded the 15th Engineer Battalion since April 16, 2008, will relinquish command to Lieutenant Colonel Baumgartner. The reviewing officer for today's ceremony is Colonel Paul M. Pelosi, commander of the 18th Engineer Brigade. Ladies and gentlemen, the biographies of both the incoming and outgoing commanders can be found in your programs. Standing before you today are the soldiers of the 15th Engineer Battalion. In orders from left to right is Headquarters and Headquarters Company, the Wolf Pack. To their left is the Forward Support Company, the Renegades. In the center of the formation is the 15th Engineer Battalion Color Guard. To their left is the 500th Engineer Company, horizontal, the Titans. To their left is the 902nd Engineer Company, vertical, the Gladiators. And at the far right is the 534th Survey and Design Detachment, the Bushmasters. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as Chaplain William Harrison gives the invocation. Please join me as I pray. We come before you, giver of wisdom, and I ask that you be present here as we change commanders. We thank you for guiding Lieutenant Colonel Hurley and ask that you continue to lead him, protecting both him and his family. We pray also for Lieutenant Colonel Baumgartner. Give him wisdom and direct him. Guard him and his family as they take on the burden of command and grant us all the grace to know and follow your will. As your servants we pray, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. <laughs> Miss Lewis Hurley is now being presented with a bouquet of red roses by Sergeant Wheeler, symbolizing the affection and appreciation for her many efforts in support of the battalion. The color red represents the love that has grown between Mrs. Hurley and the battalion. Battalion coins are being presented to Seamus, Declan, and Cormac Hurley so they may remember their father's service to the battalion. A bouquet of yellow roses is now being presented to Mrs. Audrey Baumgartner by Sergeant Avalos, symbolizing the soldiers welcoming her into the battalion. Yellow represents a new beginning. Over time, these rosebuds will grow and blossom, as will Miss Baumgartner's relationship with the battalion. Fifteen Engineer Battalion Distinguished Unit Insignias are now being, being, being presented to Lieutenant Colonel Baumgartner's sons. Taylor and Will, symbolizing the soldiers welcoming them into the battalion. The change of command ceremony is a ceremony that is rich in tradition and symbolism. The purpose of this ceremony is not so much to celebrate the change as it is to celebrate the command. No other profession marks the change of its leadership with the ceremony and importance that we display here today. At this time, please direct your attention to the field where the adjutant will begin the change of command ceremony. Now, attention!
Bring your units to present our Present Or Present Or Present Or Present Or Present Or Bring your units to order on. The commander of troops for today's ceremony is the battalion executive officer, Major Dennis Salcedo. The 15th engineer battalion staff for today's ceremony is represented by the battalion adjutant, Captain Varick Uch. Battalion intelligence officer, First Lieutenant Jason Taylor. Battalion operations officer, Major Aaron Wolf, And the battalion logistics officer, Captain Takasha Welch. Sir, the command is formed. Bring your units to order arms and parade dress. Order arms. Parade dress. Order arms. Parade dress. Order arms. Parade The reviewing of the command, or trooping of the line, as it is often called, dates back hundreds of years. It was used for the commander to review his troops' condition and state of readiness prior to battle. This morning's review is symbolic in that it allows Lieutenant Colonel Hurley one final review of the units and the soldiers he has commanded for the last 26 months. This review is also significant for Lieutenant Colonel Baumgartner for it allows the first opportunity to review the troops within the command. Bring your units to attention! Sir, the command is prepared for inspection. The 15th Engineer Battalion has a proud and distinguished lineage, constituted on 1 July 1916 as the 5th Reserve Engineers. The unit was organized in May 21 May to 6 June 1917 in Oak Mock, Pennsylvania. On 8 August 1917, the Ridge Mock, the regiment was redesignated as the 15th Engineers. During World War I, the regiment received battle streamers for the St. Lee Hill and Meuse Aragon campaigns. Deployed to France in July 1917, the 15th Planet constructed railroads and helped build barracks, hospitals, and supply depots. The unit was demobilized at Sherman, Ohio, 15 May 1919, as the United States mobilized in preparation for World War II. The battalion reactivated and first saw action in North Africa in 1943, fighting with the 9th Infantry during the Algerian, French, Morocco, and Tunisian campaigns. Next, the battalion participated in the invasion of Sicily, hitting the beach at Palermo in August 1943. The Sicily secured the 9th Infantry Division, sailed to England, and prepared for the Normandy invasion. 
Landing at Utah Beach on 10 June 1944, the battalion drove on to Schoenberg and later took part in the St. Louis Breakthrough, fighting its way across fighting its way across France. In September, the battalion earned the Presidential Unit Citation for its actions on the Siegfried Line. In December 1944, the battalion helped defeat Hitler's forces in the Battle of the Bulge to earn another battle streak. In March 1945, Bravo Company earned the Presidential Unit Citation for its part in seizing the Ludendorff Bridge, crossing the Rhine and extending the Remagen Bridgehead. After the Rhineland campaign, the division advanced eastward, fighting through the remnants of Hitler's army to earn a battle streamer for the Central European Campaign. The war again brought about the 15th inactivation in November 1946. The battalion reactivated during the Korean War, but remained stateside throughout the duration of the conflict, and was deactivated once again in January 1962. The battalion reactivated in 1963 at Fort Riley, Kansas, as the United States entered the Vietnam War. In Vietnam, the 15th Engineers earned numerous battlefield honors, including two awards for the Vietnamese Cross of Gallantry with Palm, as well as a Civil Action Honor Medal, First Class. Alpha and Charlie Companies were recognized for their support of the 9th Infantry Division in 1968. The battalion rotated to Hawaii in August 1969, where it re inactivated. The 15th Engineer Battalion was reactivated to Fort Lewis in June 1972 and remained in active service for almost 18 years. The battalion was inactivated on 15 April 1991 in Fort Lewis, Washington and relieved from assignment of the 9th Infantry Division. The 15th Engineer Battalion was reactivated on 16 July 2008 in Schweinfurt, Germany as part of the 18th Engineer Brigade. Today, the soldiers of the Drive-On Battalion stand ready to deploy and conduct full-spectrum operations worldwide in support of the 18th Engineer Brigade. Bring your units to attention! Touch me. Forward. Detachment. Present. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of the national anthems of the Federal Republic of Germany and the United States of America.
The change of command ceremony is a military tradition that is rich with symbolism and heritage, dating back to medieval times. Soldiers often carried staffs and standards into battle that identified them as a unit. While attacking or rallying on the battlefield, soldiers would, allow, would follow the standard or the guidons of their leader. Most often found at the forward edge of the battle, in more recent times, the colors represent not only a heritage and a history of the unit, but also the unity and loyalty of its soldiers. The colors are the commander's symbol of authority, representing his responsibilities to the organization. The passing of the unit colors represents a transfer of authority and responsibility for the unit from one commander to another. The command sergeant major is the keeper of the colors. As the senior enlisted soldier in the unit, he is the spokesman for both the loyalty and concerns of the soldiers and the principal advisor to the commander. Under provisions of Army Regulation 600-20, paragraph 2-3, the undersigned assumes command of the 15th Engineer Battalion, signed Craig S. Baumgartner. Lieutenant Colonel, Engineer Commanding. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of the 18th Engineer Brigade, Colonel Paul M. Pelosi. All right, so finally we've got some great weather here, and it's great to see the drive-on battalion. General McQuistian, thank you for being here, ma'am. We're honored. I know that uh, Command Sergeant Major Spencer would like to be with us, but I recognize he's got other things going on right now, and we, we've got to divide forces at times. Command Sergeant Major Clark, fellow commanders and Command Sergeants Major, and uh, members of the engineer community, we're honored to have each one of you here with us today. And um, this is the point where I say something like distinguished guests. Let me tell you who distinguished guests are. Distinguished guests are right here. They're our family members. Family members of the 15th Engineer Battalion, who allow you to serve in this battalion proudly and do the things that you do every day. So thank you very much, family members, for being with us. I'll be brief. Uh, in my belief, the, the most important things said today will be said by your commanders, the incoming and the outgoing. Allow me to speak to the soldiers of the 15th Engineer Battalion directly. Um, many of you call the 15th Engineer Battalion your first home, and so do I. That you know this was my first battalion. You get the honor of reactivating it. I had the honor of inactivating it so that you could reactivate it. 
And, and creating it from the ground up is, is something that I never experienced, but I'm glad to see that the soldiers who stand on the field today have had that honor and distinction. Let me just tell a, some of you don't realize this, but the brigade was not present when the 15th Engineer Battalion first activated. Usurer and 5th Corps was going through quite a transition, which made things even more difficult. NCOs, our very backbone of the Army, we say this all the time, but the 15th really felt it because we didn't have the solid core of NCOs that were necessary to get the unit moving forward quickly. And, and some of the equipment still isn't present. Now, you might hear those things and say, wow, that's, that's quite a challenge and those are quite difficult things. Others would find excuses. The soldiers on this field found challenges and they overcame every single one of them. It didn't stop any of you from creating a great battalion, the battalion we see in front of us today. Take a second to think about your history. You, you heard it while the commanders were trooping the line. But did you hear, hear one portion of it? And that was as the battalion was starting in 1916, there was a great transition going on then too. This was the first time soldiers actually became a part of the 15th Engineer Battalion. And you think your transition is different. They were transitioning from horses to a motorized army. They were transitioning from a constabulary army to an army that was going on an expedition. They were going from a, a garrison mindset to a great war mindset where they would participate in World War I. This isn't the first time the 15th has gone through a great change. And I would tell you, this isn't the first time that you were builders either. You're all familiar with the 15th's relationship with the 9th Infantry Division. I proudly stand in front of you as a member of that battalion. But I would tell you, think back again to 1916. They were builders of railroads of barracks, supply depots, that's what you're going to be doing again. And that construction mindset that's always been a part of the battalion's history will now be a part of it today. I'm excited to say that as you get ready to experience the future deployment that you've persevered through all the challenges that you've had, and I would tell you that um, now our Army has finally seen the wisdom to take the star player off the bench and to put you into the game. You look at that battalion set of colors right there. Not one streamer has been added since Vietnam. So it's been almost 40 years since a unit has had the distinction of adding a set of battle streamer on that color. You will do that. You will have that honor that no other soldier has had in the last 40 years. And I don't care if it's Afghanistan, Kuwait, or any other place where the Army sends you. I would tell you it's about the quality of the mission. And the unit before us will make us proud. You're the builders of roads, structures, and whatever else the Army needs to have you build. But today we celebrate the fact that a proud battalion has been built from the ground up. Dave Hurley didn't do this by himself. He had his wife Louise with him, his family. He had Command Sergeant Major Houston and his wife Kim, and they all made the difference that the battalion is able to reap the rewards of today. And as, if you didn't know it, USER also was wondering, do we actually need a construction engineer battalion in USER? Why do we need such an organization? Let me make it very clear to you. The 15th Engineer Battalion can do something that no other unit can do in USER. They can do construction. They can be combat engineers. And if necessary, they can reorganize and fight as infantry. No other unit can do that in USER today. You are USER Swiss Army knife, capable of any mission sent your way. Be proud of who you are. What you've accomplished, what you're about to do, the battalion's history, your legacy will stand proud. And Dave, I, I would tell you that you've created a foundation. Engineers are all about construction. You created the foundation. And Craig, you're about to add to that foundation. Lieutenant Colonel Craig Baumgartner is not just taking a job. He's not just moving into his next position. He's an officer who's prepared his whole career for this opportunity. And with his wife, Audra, and their two children, Will and Taylor, I would tell you that this is an exceptional opportunity 
for them to serve the soldiers of the 15th Engineer Battalion and take them to the next level as they experience the deployment in Kuwait. I pray God would bless this unit, every single soldier in this command. He would protect you on the forthcoming deployment. And um, I would tell you that I'm very proud of you as a member of the 15th Engineer Battalion, as a soldier who had this as his first unit, and as someone who's going to proudly state to other members of the 15th Engineer Battalion what I've seen here today. Dave, in closing, you and Louise have done an exceptional job. Thank you, Louise. Our battalion will drive on and they'll make you proud. And Craig and Audra, we welcome you to the battalion. And I'm certain you will exceed the expectations of the 15th Engineer Battalion. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Farewell remarks will now be given by Lieutenant Colonel David E. Hurley. Uh, good morning. Welcome to all our guests, family and friends. Especially uh, welcome Major General McQuistian. Thanks for making the long trip out here, ma'am. Appreciate it. And uh, we've been practicing the 21st TSC March for two days. These guys are singing it in their sleep. And so hopefully we do you proud on that today uh, here out on the field. I think it's one of the first times, uh, one of the premier performances. Uh, Colonel Pelosi, again, thanks for coming. Uh, Sergeant Major Clark, it's, it's been great being members of the 18th Engineer Brigade, sir. I, I truly appreciate your mentorship uh, in every sense of the word and uh, the relationship we've had. I'm going to value it forever. I want to welcome my other my fellow commanders here, Colonel Holman and Sergeant Major Amundsen, the 54th, our sister battalion, and uh, also our, my new friends in the and the ninth, the first to cross, Colonel Gaberti. All right, Jason, Kim, is our Major uh, Stewart here? No? Okay. Um, also, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Cardoni's here. Um, a bunch of other commanders and guests. I, I can't mention everybody, but I, I do especially want to welcome our great garrison commander, Lieutenant Colonel Everett Spain and Julia here today, uh, who's, who's been so preact proactive, uh, made so many great changes in this community that benefit us, make our lives better every day. Uh, for the soldiers, the community, our families. Uh, and also welcome Sergeant Major Ali has just changed out, Master Sergeant Boozer here. Uh, and just uh, everybody, thanks for coming out. I, I'd like to start by reflecting back on our beginnings. And uh, there's, uh, there's one, one man in attendance here, Sergeant Major Amundsen, I think was part of that crowd on the first day when I, when I took command. There were three people in attendance. Uh, the reception was a, a pot of coffee in my office, and Colonel Russell said it wasn't good. There were 24 soldiers on the field, and I took Case Skydon in front of our makeshift headquarters on the other side of post on the airfield, and we had little equipment. We, we had only a few leaders, and we didn't have much direction, but take a look at us now. 560 strong. About $50 million worth of equipment, some of it surrounding us today, and a beautiful headquarters that's really worthy of an engineer headquarters and makes us proud now as we look over there at some of the work that our soldiers have done to make it our headquarters and our home. And this, this doesn't just happen. We didn't arrive here by accident and, and just by fate. Uh, it really took planning, it took cooperation, and it took drive. And we built this unit from scratch those of us on the field and some that have already left the formation. And it's hard. And those of you that were here at the beginning know that. Those of you that this is your first unit may not understand it, but those who have been around for a while understand it's no easy task. And we, we started by looking back and learning from our history and the long lineage that we have and our legacy all the way back to World War I. And we talked to our Vietnam veterans. And we talked to former members of the unit, including our brigade commander, about what this unit was like and about where we're coming from. And we established the culture, teamwork, leader development, a focus on building our basic soldier skills. And then we started to seek out projects. And we invented in the process the win-win-win scenario here in Usier. We partnered with the garrisons, with the DPWs, range control, and, and anybody else who had a project that we could work on. 
We traveled out to the local training areas, Ryan Ordnance Barracks, over to Bamberg, Grappenveer, Hohenfels, road, doing roads and trails, helipads. We went to Israel, Romania, Bulgaria. We've done joint and combined operations in just our short time in existence. And in the process, we've saved hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars, completing valuable projects that our garrisons needed, that our soldiers can train on, and that trained our unit in the process. So that's pretty good stuff. And of course, individual accomplishments followed on these unit accomplishments. We had soldiers and officers attending sapper school, ranger school, airborne, air assault, competing in the best sapper competition at Fort Leonard Wood, doing us proud there. We earned the Army's best platoon leader award in the engineer regiment's first steel to flurry for an NCO. And soldiers like uh, Staff Sergeant Silo, officers like Lieutenant Johnson, Cap Mooch, uh, PFC Easterly, and Lieutenant Sears, they did us proud. And this is all thanks to that engineer spirit we have, that SA ons let us try attitude. And despite challenges and shortages and uncertainty of the future, it's that determination to drive on. And it's not just our motto, it's our way. And reliable isn't just our greeting, it's who we are. And the success you see on this field, it's due to those NCOs and especially our first sergeants who know the value of discipline. They demand that we have fit and skilled professionals in our unit who are ready to deploy because we know that time will come soon enough. And it's thanks to a staff led by the multi-talented XO Major Salcedo. And it's made up of officers like Captain Welch and Major Wolf, and Captain Dominguez, and of NCOs like Sergeant Mallory, Ibay, and Sandals. And that's just to name a few of their heroes every day. It's also thanks to that first class support that we have from our forward support company with some uh, great soldiers in there like Sergeant Smith and Lieutenant Kreiner pushing out that support and Mr. Fleet and Sergeant Tecito making sure the maintenance is squared away. And it's also thanks to those great members of the platoons out there, leaders like uh, Lieutenant D.G., Sergeant Reed, Lieutenant Caperna, Sergeant Dean, Lieutenant Sterling, and of course one of my favorite NCOs out there, Sergeant De La Rosa, doing that hard work, making sure things are done right every day. But mostly it's due to example, leadership of my right-hand man, my advisor, my confidant, the keeper of the standards out there, and my regular cycling partner. So certainly Sergeant Major Houston was in that room on display when they created the NCO Creed. I don't know how long ago that was. He's not that old, if it was a long time ago. But when they were forming those words, nobody's more professional than I. Confidence is my watchword. Uh, leader of soldiers, uh, he was there, and they were, they were looking at him. So he's certainly, you know, one of the most dedicated, competent professionals I've ever met, and uh, I'm sure that I'll ever meet. And unfortunately, he's smarter than the rest of us combined, so sometimes that was painful, but it paid off in the end for all of us. And I know this unit and I will long reflect on how lucky we are to have met him and worked with him, and, you know, I have to mention often, uh, I was confused with Sergeant Major Houston times. I was greeted often. Good morning, Sergeant Major. And I never really uh, made a harsh correction on that mistake. I, I took it as an honor. I said, I'm probably looking squared away and doing things right if I'm getting confused with that guy. So uh, I'm not him, but I wish I was. And, of course, his contributions were... Uh, only outdone by those of his wife, Kim. So, I got to move on. So will you guys. But I won't forget you in your hard work. I'm proud of you. You answered the call to your nation in a time of war. Take sacrifice to stand up and do that hard work. I want you to stay sharp and drive on. This is Hammer Six out. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of the 15th Engineer Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Craig S. Baumgartner.
Major General, Major General McQuistion, Colonel Pelosi, Command Sergeant Major Clark, my fellow battalion commanders, and Command Sergeants Major, and other distinguished guests. I wanted to first formally introduce my family, my lovely wife, Audra, and my two boys, Taylor and Will. They are my internal strength, everything that I do for everything that I do each and every day. I consider myself the luckiest husband and father in the world, and I'm truly blessed. We are excited to be here. Now, this is our first assignment to Germany, so we have a lot to learn. However, over the past week and a half, we quickly realized that the leadership and support structure that exists here is second to none. I am very confident that with the leaders of my chain of command, Colonel Pelosi and Major General McQuistion, and with the support of the local Schweinfurt community and Garrison Command, there is a proven team that will assist us in taking care of the soldiers and families of the 15th Engineer Battalion and enable us to accomplish our mission. In advance, I would like to thank you for your leadership and your continued support for our soldiers and families. Audra and I would like to say a special thanks to the Hurley family. Dave and Louise are true professionals and went well beyond to assist us with our transition. All you have to do is walk around and talk with the members of the 18th Engineer Brigade, the local community and garrison, and observe the soldiers of this great battalion, and you quickly realize that Dave and Luis's hard work has paid off. 15th Engineer Battalion soldiers look and are exceptional. Dave and Luis, again, thank you, and we wish you the absolute best in Hawaii. My purpose is clear, to serve, to serve our nation, to serve our army, and to serve and lead and care for the soldiers and families of the 15th Engineer Battalion. I understand this enormous responsibility, and I will never take it lightly. All policies, procedures, standards remain in effect until otherwise directed. First in support, swords up, and drive on. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and join us in the singing of the 21st TSC March, the Engineer Song, and the Army Song. <laughs>
seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the 15th Engineer Battalion's commander of the troops for today's ceremony is Major Dennis Salcedo, the battalion executive officer. <laughs> headquarters and headquarters company. Company commander is Captain Randy Simon, and the first sergeant is First Sergeant Jeremy Bollinger. <laughs> Forward support company. Company commander is Brandy West, and the first sergeant is First Sergeant Richard Fry. Please stand and render honors as the national colors pass. The non-commissioned officer in charge of the color guard for today's ceremony is Command Sergeant Major Bradley Houston, Command Sergeant Major for the 15th Engineer Battalion. Five hundred engineer company. Company commander is Captain Kenneth Zinnenfeld. And the first sergeant is First Sergeant Eric Ford. Nine oh second engineer company. The company commander is Captain Samuel Galen. And the first sergeant is first sergeant, first class, Benicio Rangel. Thirty-fourth Survey and Design Detachment. The detachment Sergeant is Sergeant First Class Eric Stimmerding. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the 15th Engineer Battalion Change of Command Ceremony. Lieutenant Colonel and Mrs. Hurley will remain on the field for those who wish to bid them farewell. Please feel free to join the Baumgartner family for a welcome reception on the patio in front of the battalion headquarters. Thank you for attending today's Change of Command Ceremony. Drive on. <laughs>